What's up guys, Tina did it here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have this easy and super fun to make DIY. It's a Halloween character decor which you can put by your fireplace or by your front door. So if you want to see how I made this, keep on watching. The story behind this is I was on Pinterest a few days ago and I saw them but they were for $60. So you know me, I went to Home Depot and I picked up one, um, the stud that's $1.93 and I had them cut it down. So so two, two foot over there on the left, and I'm saving those for another DIY, two two feet, and I had the guy cut down one foot each. Do you know what I mean? So it's four on the left, and then there's four feet right here in front of me. I'm saving the ones on the left for another DIY, but the one here in front of me um, are the characters we're going to make today. And I purchased some paint, of course. I'm going to split up this video um, one character at a time, but for all four um, wood pieces, you're going to sand them down because they are a little bit rough. So I'm going to start off with our pumpkin, our jack-o'-lantern. So we're going to get jack-o'-lantern paint and um, jet black paint. We're going to start off by painting the orange, of course. You want to do the front, sides, and back. Oh, and don't forget the top. You don't need the bottom because we're going to have it standing on a platform. So you don't necessarily need to paint the bottom. So just um, paint front, sides, back, and top. Do I talk too much and too fast, you guys? <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm just going on and on and on and on, just like I'm doing now. But you do need a second coat on this one. So I went in with that orange again, and um, I gave it a second coat. Now I'm going in with pencil. I'm just going to free draw the um, the face of the jack-o'-lantern i'm doing triangle eyes triangle nose and the typical mouth but you can do it whatever you want it looks scary or whatever you want but i'm going in with the pencil first and then i'm going in with that jet black paint and um i'm going to color that in or paint that in I must say, you guys, this is probably my favorite fall slash Halloween decor that I've made. You guys will have so much fun making this, and my kids love it. This video is going to be a little long, but hang in there. <laughs> so you're going to let that dry. And while that's drying, you're going to get a twig. But instead of the twig, I'm going to use um, one of the the blocks from Dollar Tree, painted it brown, I can't remember the name of it right now, and put some leaves on there, and we're, we're done with the pumpkin. Now we're going to go on to the, um, the ghost. So you're going to need just two colors, snow white and jet black. You're going to start off with the white and paint the entire thing. Like I said, you don't need to paint the bottom, you're just, I don't want you wasting paint. So you don't need to paint the bottom, but you do need to paint the front, sides, back, and top. And I'm going to give this two coats and I'll be right back. And here I am giving it the second coat and then I'll let that dry. And once that's dry, we're going to do the same thing. Grab your pencil and draw the ghost's face. I know it looks weird, <laughs> but give it a second here. We're going to go in with our jet black paint again, and we're going to paint that in. Now the ghost is finished. I will show all of them together in the end, but moving on. Mr. Frankenstein, this is probably my favorite, like number one. You're going to need um, snow white paint, same paint, and then the jet black, same one. You're going to need, I think I'm saying this right, parakeet or parakeet <laughs> and um, some tape and of course your paintbrush. You're going to go in with the parakeet paint and paint the front sides back. You guessed it. Don't worry about the top. Actually, the top can be even messy. I'm not going to worry that much about the top because we are going to cover that with the jet black paint. So you don't have to worry about the top for now. Now you're going to get your tape. This is just scotch tape, you guys. You can use any tape you have, literally anything. You can probably even use the clear tape, but um, but yeah, so this is just scotch tape and I'm going to make the triangle shape that Frankenstein has on the top of his head. So basically just cut triangles and that's it. We're going to stick it on the wood piece and we're going to paint it black. If you can do this without the tape, oh my goodness, you're probably like an artist. <laughs> yeah, I need the tape, I need the guidelines, so this is what worked for me. 
we're grabbing that black paint again the jet black paint and we're going to paint the top um the top of the wood piece and make sure you paint the top as well like the top of the head it's all around front sides back and top if you like videos that are straight on point you guys and usually a little bit shorter than this one <laughs> um make sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up you guys and let me know what you guys think down in the comments i love to hear from you guys but once that's dry we're going to peel off the tape i know mine is a little messy but um I I wanted it to look like that. <laughs> I think the messier the better. It's fine. I'm not going to even fix it. Um, I sort of like it, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Now you're going to do the scar that Frankenstein has and um, his eyes, nose, and mouth. His eyes is just going to be like a straight number one with the letter C, you know, stuck to it basically. Um, and that's it. His nose is basically a horseshoe and a smiley face i'm not going to do anything scary but again you can do whatever you want on your uh mr frankenstein and we're going to go in with the black paint and you guessed it we're going to outline it when you're picking out your wood you guys you want to try to pick one that's nice and clean that doesn't need that much sanding mine i realized when i got home the the entire like almost the entire left side was like not very clean it was like messy so um when you're picking out your wood you want to make sure you pick out the nice clean ones that might not require that much sanding and there he is once that's dry we're going to go in with our snow white paint and we're going to color in his eyes So once I'm done doing that, I'm going to let that dry. And I forgot to mention you guys earlier that um, you need two screws for Mr. Frankenstein. So I'm grabbing the first one, getting the E6000, and I'm going to just let it stand there and dry while the white is drying. Once the white is dry, I'm going to go in with the jet black paint and then uh, finish up his eyes and then just let that dry. And I'll put the other screw as well. Now we're going to move on to our mummy. We're going to need a felt um, paper from Walmart, which costs only 28 cents, by the way. Cheesecloth from 99 cent store, it's a dollar. Um, the wood piece, of course, and jet black paint. That's all you need. For the mummy, I did it a little differently. I, um, I ended up painting only the front and the top black. I didn't do the, worry about the sides. I didn't worry about the back. I didn't wanna really wa uh, want to waste any paint because I am going to cover all of that with che the, the cheesecloth. But this is just computer paper, you guys. I made two little circles and I'm going to just use um, glue stick and just stick it there. And with the felt paper, you literally just need two tiny circles. So if you even have black um, poster board or black uh what was i going to say foam paper you can just make two tiny circles for the eye and that's it so that's all we're going to use that felt paper for now you're going to get your cheesecloth out and you're just going to wrap the entire thing i forgot to mention you guys this entire wood piece only cost me two dollars and it's eight foot long the characters are one foot each so we're only using technically only a dollar worth of wood because i'm saving the other four feet for another diy remember so the wood for these guys only costs us technically a dollar when you get to the eye you want to just basically skip the eye and tuck anything that's sticking out um that might be covering the eye you want to just cover the eye a tiny little bit so that black isn't showing through but um but not like completely covering it the mummy didn't turn out too bad don't worry about the sides you guys too you won't be able to see any of that wood um once the entire thing is wrapped but um i think i could have done a little bit better with the mummy but i still like it but in once you're done wrapping the mummy you're going to just hot glue the end and that's it and here's mr mummy now we're moving on to our platform um these are just wood samples that i picked up while i was at home depot and they're completely free you guys and i'm just going to go in with my e6000 and just glue them to each other and this part is optional that's why i don't have the paint on here but um you can leave it just like that 
or you can even have those um the characters on your stairs you don't have them you don't have to have them on a platform if you don't have wood samples you can use canvases from the dollar tree um but i did go in and spray paint the platform with the 96 96 cent spray paint from walmart that i always using in my videos but you guys let me know what you think down below i think they're so cute i have them on the floor here for better lighting but i think i'm going to put them next to my fireplace let me know what you guys think i think it was a super easy and cute project that didn't even cost me what like ten dollars you guys but if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun diys like this one see you all next time bye